Hi, I'm Corey. I'm Michelle. And today we're going to be harvesting some herbs. We've really enjoyed growing our herbs this year. They've done really well for us and uh, as you can see they look awesome. We give them a lot of sunlight and a lot of water to keep them this green and healthy looking and growing like crazy. We haven't really had any challenges, which is awesome, but folks at Charity are more than happy to help you out with anything that you might have an issue with. So in our herb and vegetable garden, we decided to plant some habanero peppers. We also got some kale in here for some colors, some nice purple kale. We got some pesto basil, we got some regular basil, and we got some lemon thyme and some mint. With our mint, we actually have a couple different varieties. Um, we have chocolate mint back here, uh, we have just peppermint, and we have strawberry mint, which I'm really excited about. There's so many different uh, drinks you can use them with, tea, um, Moscow mules, mojitos, <laughs> all the fun stuff. So we're going to prune back some of our basil and our mint. Now when you're pruning them back, you want to make sure you prune them back to a nice healthy set of leaves when you make the cut. And for every one cut you make, you'll get two new shoots out of it. We made sure to prune back the flower head because once it does produce seeds, it won't produce any more leaves. And if you're not able to use everything you prune back right away, you're able to store it for about a week by keeping it in a little glass on your kitchen counter with some water. And then you can use it whenever you like. Thanks for watching our video. We hope this helps you with your herb garden. And feel free to follow us on our garden adventures by watching our other videos.